Hi, so for today, we are going to talk about multiplying and rationalizing radicals. This is still a part of our study in algebra and the continuation of our previous video all about radicals. So let's get started. So how do we multiply and rationalize a radical? Meaning to rationalize a radical is to eliminate the uh, radical sign in the denominator of a certain uh, expression given that there is a radical in the denominator. So first one, we are going to multiply. For letter A, we have the square root of x plus 2 multiplied by square root of x minus 5. So basically, in this example, we are trying to multiply square root of x plus 2 and then square root of x minus 5. So it's just like multiplying it using the FOIL method. So recall that we can multiply this using FOIL. So we have to multiply first this one. We have uh, square root of x times square root of x being the first term. Let me just change my uh, color of the pen. Square root of x times square root of x. That's the first. Then we have the outer so, plus square root of x multiplied by negative 5. Then we have the inner. Then we have 2 times the square root of x. And then we have the last. So, plus 2 times negative 5. So, by loss of exponent, we can, we can basically com uh, con convert the square root of x into x raised to 1 half. Okay. So, this would be x raised to 1 half also. So, x raised to 1 half multiplied by x raised to 1 half, we can add the exponent and 1 half plus 1 half becomes simply 1. Or simply, this square root of x times square root of x is simply x. Okay? And then we have negative 5 square root of x. 2 square root of x would be 2 square root of x. Okay? 2 times the square root of x. And then we have negative 10 because 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And basically, we can uh, simplify these two middle uh, terms here. So we have negative square root of x plus 2 square root of x. That would be simply uh, negative 3 square root of x. Okay? Minus 10. And then we have now the answer as the x minus 3 square root of x minus 10. So that's an, our answer for letter A. Same procedure that we're going to do with letter B. We have 3 square root of x minus square root of y. Then multiply by 2 square root of x minus 5 square root of y. That is basically FOIL. And if we are going to multiply this, we are to follow the FOIL method wherein we have this one. Okay, 3 square root of x times 2 square root of x. That's the first, and the outer would be 3 square root of x times negative 5 square root of y. So we have plus uh, 3 square root of x plus 3 square root of x, then multiply by negative 5 square root of y. Okay, and the uh, inner is this one, plus we have negative square root of y. Then we have 2 square root of x. And then the last, which is negative square root of y times negative 5 square root of y. <coughs> okay. So we can now simplify this. For the first uh, term, we have multiplied it. Okay. So what happens in this, we are to multiply 3 times 2. So that's 6. And then also multiply square root of x times square root of x. That is basically x. So we have 6x here. Okay? So for the second one, we have to multiply this. 3 times negative 5 is uh, negative 15. Okay? And then square root of x times square root of y. Okay? Basically becomes <coughs> what? Square root of xy. So we cannot simply uh, eliminate the exponent because they have different radicands. Okay? So, that is square root of x multiplied by square root of y. Okay? And then we have plus, we have negative 2 square root of x multiplied by square root of y. The same thing here. We cannot cancel out the radical sign because they don't have the same radicand inside. Okay? 
And then we have plus negative square root of y times negative. So negative 1 times negative 5 becomes 5. Then we have square root of y times square root of y would become 5y. Okay, then we simplify. So we have 6x minus 15. So we have a property okay, that we can simplify. We have square root of x and square root of y. Or yes, I'm going to use square root of x, square root of y. We can simply rewrite this as this. Okay, so we have square root of xy minus 2, the same as this, square root of xy plus 5y. And then, of course, we can simplify furthermore the uh, the middle term here. So the middle term here. So because they are the same, so we have 6x minus 17 square root of xy plus 5y. They will add up because they are both negative. <coughs> yeah. So that's our answer for problem B. Now, for problem C, I have to copy-paste this. Take a look at this. This is still the same as the problem that we are solving a while ago. So, foil method again for this one. I'm going to use red or uh, still black. Foil, so we have 5 square root of x times 5 square root of x, that's the first one. And then the outer, it's 5 square root of x times negative 2. So 5 square root of x times negative 2. The inner would be 2 times 5 square root of x. And then the last would be 2 times negative 2. So simplify. So we have 25x. Because square root of x, square root of x would be simply x. Okay, and then we have negative 10 square root of x, negative 2 multiplied by 5, negative 10, then we have square root of x. Then this would be 10 square root of x. Okay, <coughs> that would be 10 square root of x and then minus 4 because 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. And we know that this will cancel. So we have a final answer that is 25x minus 4. So that's how we multiply radicals. Okay? So at least basic multiplication of radicals. So we are now to rationalize the following radicals. Meaning of rationalization is we are going to eliminate okay, the uh, root or the radical sign in the denominator of each of these uh, questions. So for letter A, we are going to rationalize for number 1, I mean, we are going to rationalize 4 all over square root of x. Now, here's the thing. In order for us to eliminate the square root of x, we need to multiply this, both the numerator and the denominator by square root of x. Okay? So technically, we are not uh, doing anything bad about this one. Because uh, technically, we are multiplying this 4 all over square root of x by 1. Because square root of x all over square root of x is 1. So we have 4 square root of x all over square root of x times the square root of x. And we have seen that. That's 4 square root of x all over x. And that's how you rationalize this number 1. For number 2, we have fifth root of 2 all over x cubed. Okay, so that's a fifth of all, two all over x cubed. So how do we rationalize this? So we can separate first the numerator and then the denominator for us to see what factor are we going to multiply this uh, one. No, we are not going to multiply, but rather this is equal to this. Okay, the fifth root of square root of uh, fifth root of two all over fifth root of x cubed. That is equivalent to this given by the properties of radicals. So now we know how to eliminate the denominator of the radical. So we are going to multiply this by fifth root of the x cube all over fifth root of the x cube. By doing this, we know that we can now eliminate 
the given or meaning the okay to eliminate the denominator uh, this should be let's let's just first analyze the denominator if we're going to convert that into exponential that would be x raised to three fifths okay so what are we going to multiply to this to make this x raised to one or to eliminate the radical so we need to multiply this by x raised to 2 all over 5. In that, by multiplying, we, we add exponents. 3 fifths plus 2 fifths would be 5 all over 5, which is equal to 1. <laughs> so we need is 2 fifths. And then we are going to multiply it by... Okay. This x raised to 2 fifths, we are now going to uh, transform this into what? Into radical. And x raised to 2 fifths, into radical, that is 5th root of the x squared. So, we're going to multiply this by 5th root of x squared, 5th root of x squared. So, what you multiply on the numerator, you also multiply on the denominator. And we, we know that, <laughs> excuse me, and we know that, that this denominator would cancel its radical. So, this would be technically x, okay? And what about the numerator? What about the numerator? So what happens to the numerator is that this becomes 5th root of 2x squared. Okay? They have the same uh, uh, root, 5th root. So by, by properties, we can rewrite this as... Okay? We can rewrite this as a simple 5th root of 2x squared. So that would be the answer, the fifth root of 2x squared all over x. So hence, eliminating the radical in the denominator, we now rationalize, okay? We now rationalize the denominator. So for number 3, so for number 3, we have 1 all over 3 minus square root of x. So if we happen to see this type of... Uh, 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 radical wherein we have a two term and another one is uh, only one term has a radical we need to multiply it by what we call its conjugate okay so we have to multiply it by 3 plus square root of x all over 3 plus square root of x so we the technique is that we are going to multiply it by the denominator but changing the sign. So for example, we are given uh, 1 minus square root of x. So we're going to multiply it by 1 plus square root of x all over 1 plus square root of x. The purpose is that if we get the multiplication of this one, this is actually the sum or, or the product of difference. So we have a plus b then a minus b, and that 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 is, we know, a squared minus b squared. Okay? So, that's the technique. So, if we multiply it by this, this would be 1 times 3 plus square root of x, that's 3 plus square root of x still. And then we have 3 minus square root of x, 3 plus square root of x. So, if you're going to FOIL this, that would be 9, Outer, that would be plus 3 square root of x. Inner, that would be negative 3 square root of x. And last, that would be negative square root of x times square root of x. So, we know that this will cancel. This was 9 minus what we call what? x. Okay? So, negative square root of x times square root of x is negative x because we have a negative here square root of x times square root of x is x we have a negative here so this becomes negative x so the result would be 3 plus square root of x all over 9 minus x so that's our rationalized uh, answer for this problem and lastly for our last problem of basic rationalizing the uh radical so we have 5 all over square root or 4 square root of x plus square root of 3 so again we are going to multiply it by changing the sign 
of the denominator. So we have 4 square root of x minus square root of 3 all over 4 square root of x minus square root of 3. Okay? So multiplying that, it gives us 5 times 4 square root of x minus square root of 3 all over we have 4 square root of x plus square root of 3 then we have 4 square root of x minus square root of 3 so we can now first uh, distribute okay or we can we can just uh, let this numerator as it is okay okay and we know that this is still sum of or product of difference. This is in the form of a plus b and a minus b. And what we did here also on the previous is the same. So the technique here is we're going to multiply the first and the last. To simplify because the outer party and inner, outer and inner will just cancel. Okay, The outer and inner term will just cancel. So we have 4 square root of x times 4 square root of x, that's 16x. Then, square root of 3 times negative square root of 3, that's minus 3. So, then we have an answer of 5, quantity 4 square root of x minus square root of 3, all over 16x minus 3.